I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be chomped by a giant target. That was a huge fish! Today we're on location in the Florida Keys at a very famous spot called Robbie's. This is Christina Wilson, wildlife biologist and adventure extraordinaire. Christina, what are we doing today? We are going to be feeding tarpon, which is one of the world's largest fighting fish. Now, this is the only place in the world that you can hang off of a dock and feed these fish by hand. Now me personally, I've caught some big fish. Alligator gar, white sturgeon, even a blue catfish. That one did bite me. How big can the tarpon grow? They can get up to eight feet and 280 pounds. Yeah. 280 pound fish on your arm. I have a yeah. feeling that this episode is going to be a screamer. Ready to feed some fish? Let's do this. We're gonna feed you to the fish. Let's see what happens. This looks like as good a spot as any. All right. All right, so we've got our bucket of fish. There are no tarpon in front of us at the <laughs> moment. Now, part of the tactic for getting the fish here is to get a little bit of scent in the water and also a little bit of disturbance. You wanna smack the water, see if we can get them here? Oh, all right. Hopefully you're not bitten first. Here, turpin, turpin, turpin. Oh, just threw a bait fish in there, didn't I'm you? I'm trying to get the fish here. A little bit of scent, a little bit of disturbance. So why is this location so famous for seeing tarpon? Many years ago, there was a giant tarpon by the name of Scarface, who was found out in the water with his face cut from a boat propeller. The owners here at Robbie's brought it into captivity and stitched it back up. They rehabilitated it and released it into these waters. Who would have ever thought that you could save a tarpon? What ultimately happened is that the tarpon stayed in this area and as it was being fed and rejuvenated back to life, it began to bring in other tarpon. So you must ask yourselves, do fish communicate with each other? Did Scarface say to the other tarpon, hey, people here are gonna actually help and feed you and ultimately bring in all these fish? Who knows? But today, there are dozens of these tarpon here in the waters where you can come down yourself and hand feed these fish. Here we go, here we go, we got one. When it comes to fish bites, I've been bitten by a piranha and I've been bitten by a blue catfish. You're losing. You're losing. I got him, I got him, I got him. A piranha have razor sharp teeth, which of course is gonna cut you open like a hot knife through butter. But the other fish I was bitten by, the blue catfish, has very small compact teeth that almost work together like rough sandpaper grates rubbing up against each other. So imagine a really fine cheese grater digging into your skin. That is the same tooth structure that is built into the tarpon's mouth. Only the mouth of a tarpon. Oh, you oh, almost a, got one. Yeah, you thought about yeah. it? Yeah. The mouth of a tarpon is much larger than the mouth of a blue catfish. Right. They've actually been known to straighten fishing hooks because that's how strong their jaw is. Wow. Are. Yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Tip of the finger. <laughs> Ow. That was a good one. Wow. So the speed and the power and the bony nature of these fish's oh. skulls just jammed my finger straight into itself. That really, really hurt. Woo! That one nicked me. That one nicked me. So Christina, what we're seeing here is the athletic ability of these fish. And look at the way they're just bam, hitting the surface. And that's the thing that for anglers, that makes them so exciting, right? It's all about the fight and that bite. Yeah, and then they got this beautiful jump out of the water. So I'm, I'm assuming that your arm might be completely engulfed at some point. That's Scarface, right here. This one? Yes, this is Scarface. So this fish is massive. She dwarfs all the, oh my gosh, there she is right there. <gasps> oh my gosh. All right, we gotta get Scarface up to the surface. <laughs> This is the, the nibble method. Nibble. nibble. Oh! I still got my fish. What's really cool about the jaw structures, they have this impressive underbite. So they gulp their prey in, right? Just power and force and that mouth opening. And if we get that shot of seeing how wide these fish can open their mouths, an entire human head could fit inside of the mouth of Scarface. Ooh! First blood. What happened? Man, it nicked me. That's it? That yeah. was just a nick? That was just a nick. So imagine your whole hand being in there. One thing that I can tell you, one of the scariest moments I've ever had on the Brave Wilderness Channel was catching the blue catfish. 
being underwater and placing my hand into the catfish hotel and having that fish grab onto my wrist and shake it. Ooh, ooh. I thought it was going to break my wrist. Legit, that was the power. So it was really difficult to go back under there and take a second attempt. So that fish was a fraction of the size of these right. fish. Any fear that one of these could possibly break your wrist? I'm after after this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm afraid I'm gonna get pulled in, and then there's gonna be a feeding frenzy. <laughs> well, the good news is that tarpon do not eat humans. They are fish eating experts. But Christina's officially drawn first blood, so let's see where this goes. Man. Now, if you hold it by the tip of the tail. The tarpon will probably pull it out of your fingers. However, if you hold the fish down like this, the tarpon will engulf your hand. Now, I would never recommend you guys try doing this if you visit Robbie's. You don't want to get bitten by one of these fish. Their sharp little sandpaper-like teeth will rip up your skin. Alrighty, this is it. Officially chomped by a tarpon. I mean, it's nerve-wracking just to hold the tip of the tail and have them come to the surface. So, the idea of one engulfing your hand, feeling the power of those jaws and the grit of those teeth. Man, this is gonna be it. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be chomped by a giant tarpon. Scarface is waiting. The scarf, where's Scarface? Oh! oh, that was a good hit. Not super high out of the water, though. What do you think all of these fish range size-wise right now? Uh, on average, three to four feet. Ah. I don't know if that was Scarface, but that was a big one. All right, first real chomp there. Yep, oh yeah. I thought, I thought I drew blood, but. All right, second go, here we are. Waiting for Scarface. There she is. Come on, Scarface. Waiting for a big one. She's right here, she's right here. Oh, so close. That's nerve-wracking. Come on, man, knocked right out of my hand. Okay. Ah, this is nerve-wracking. Scarface, where are you? Go big or go home. Be brave, face Scarface. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. Where are you, buddy? I want to feel the wrath of Scarface. Oh. There it is. Oh. <laughs> you still have the fish. I got the fish. <laughs> She's coming. She's coming for you. She's here, coming. Here she is. Here she is. She's coming. Oh, not Scarface though. <laughs> wow, that is intense. As you can see, they definitely light me up, but it's not cutting deep into the skin. It's more like a bad rug burn, a bloody rug burn. <laughs> was that Scarface? Oh, I think so. That I was a so. huge <laughs> fish. <laughs> Scarface with the sneak attack. Dude, that was massive. Wow, that one definitely did a number on my arm. All right. Uh, oh my gosh, man. Oh man, that was a hit. That was a hit and a half. This side of my arm, the fish came in from the back. I didn't even see it coming. Okay, okay, okay. I'm pretty sure that that was Scarface. Okay, at that juncture, I think I've taken the hits that I need to take. Yeah. And it was really the hit on this side that I think was probably the worst. And most likely Scarface. Woo! So there you have it. Hand feeding giant tarpon off the dock at Robbie's. Christina, how was this experience for you? This was insane. Right? Yeah. Well, it's important to note that dangling a fish from the tip of its tail, totally safe. Holding the fish in the palm of your hand and letting the tarpon take your hand, not recommended for anyone to try at home. As you can see from my arm, 
is a pretty painful experience. I'm Coyote Peterson. I'm Christina Wilson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. I need to wash my arm off too. Stinky.